everyone likes the probes in their own order. So for RDM, probe one is your air on, your return air. Probe two is your air off, your discharge air. Probe three is your evaporator inlet, which in the absence of a transducer is your evaporating temperature for your superheat calculation. Probe four is your suction probe. Probe five is your defrost termination probe. Probe six is if you want to use a product sensor. So some of the guys on the call I'm sure will have seen, you can put like a, what they call a sludge probe, which yep. isn't, isn't a little, you know, a little slimy thing that crawls around the fridge, but is the thing sat in a big block of polystyrene or gel that responds yep. much more like a program. It, back, some, of the, some of the RDM UK guys uh, will recognise it being called a, a plastic chicken back in the M&S early days of doing this because it was designed to respond at the same speed as a chilled chicken would respond. So you can connect that in there. They call it a log probe now because nobody wants to talk about slugs around the food. Yeah. So, but yeah, that's, yeah, exactly. what, that's what that, and you can configure the controller to alarm on that probe if you wish. With probe types, I think there are 20 different types of probe that RDM supports. I think it's 10 resistance ranges and you can have them all in centigrade or Fahrenheit. 